Welcome to the Sakura Dev CSS Tricks. In this playlist, I will create very short tutorials about CSS tricks and techniques like this. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all the latest tips and tricks. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so this is the HTML file. You can see we have a container div here. So let's get back to the browser. The container is this white block here. So let's get back to the VS Code again. You can see inside the container we have five div with the profile class. And inside each profile div, we have an image element. Okay, so now let's go to the style.css file. Here we have some predefined CSS style for the container the profile and the image inside each profile. So now let's get back to the browser. All we need to do here is to select the profile that are not hovered. And then we can apply some CSS filter for each profile that is not hovered. So let's get back to the VS Code and CSS file. And here, let's select the profile that are not hovered. So here, first we're gonna select the profile and then use the not pseudo class, okay? And then inside the not, we are going to use the hover pseudo class. Okay, so this will select the profiles that are not hover. Then inside it, we are going to apply the CSS filter. So I use the filter property here and then use the grayscale 100 and also set the brightness to 50%. Okay, and let's save this. Let's get back to the browser. You can see now all of the profiles are already selected and the CSS filter is applied on all of them. But this is not desirable because we are going to apply the CSS filter when one of the profiles is hovered. And if none of them is hovered, we don't want to apply the CSS filter. So in order to do that, let's get back to the VS Code and CSS file and before selecting the profiles that are not hover we are going to add some extra selector here so here first we are going to select the container and then use the has pseudo class and then inside the has we are going to put the profiles that are hover so actually we are saying that if the container has a profile inside it that is hovered then apply this second selector and select the profiles that are not hovered so now let's save this and get back to the browser and as you can see first the CSS filter is not applied on any of the profiles here and that's because the container doesn't have any profile inside it which has been hovered so now let's hover one of the profile here as you can see now the other profiles that are not hovered are selected by the CSS selector and the CSS filter is applied on them so yeah that's it for this CSS trick here and don't forget to like this video and you can subscribe for more CSS tricks like this. Bye-bye.